Hello, my name is Tim Manio, Solutions Consultant and Engineer on the Forensic Investigations Team at Nuix. Today, in this short video, I will be speaking to you about extracted entities. Nuix extracts intelligence from process data in the form of named entities. These values are recognized from matches based upon predefined regular expression pattern searches utilized by Nuix. There are a set of default regular expressions that are available in Nuix. Additional regular expressions can be created by the user and added to the following location. C Program Files Nuix Nuix 6 User Data Named Entities Should a user wish to add to this library it is a simple case of adding a regular expression file to this library and updating the regex.properties file. The current default named entities that come present within Nuix are company names, email addresses, currency amounts, country names, IP addresses, URLs, personal identification information, and credit cards. Now let's start by taking a look at the processing settings related to named entity extraction. It is within the evidence processing settings where you make the selection to enable the identification and capture of named entities within the data set for further analysis. Let's look on the right hand side of the evidence processing settings window. Here you can see we have an option to extract named entities. If you would like to deselect this, simply untick the checkbox. However, if you would like to conduct this analysis across your processing, simply select a box and you also have the ability to make a selection to determine whether you want this processing to be conducted over just the text content of an item and or over the metadata properties associated with an item. You can make your selections accordingly within this window. You can even select what file types you would like named entities extracted across. Switch tabs to the MIME type settings and here you are presented with a listing of files and file categories that Nuix has the capability of processing. Note the fifth column over you have an option under the entities column. Here you can select or deselect categories or even specific types of files that you would like named entity recognition to be run across. Now let's take a look inside the Nuix workbench. Now we are going to take a look at leveraging the use of named entity extraction during the course of an investigation. As with most things within Nuix, there are a few ways of going about doing this and you can select whichever method you like best. For example, let's start with the examination of named entity evidence by going up to the results window and the view by drop down list. Here I can select entities and during the course of this you will see this list continue to build as the percentage increases based upon the particular named entity you are interested in. In this case it automatically starts with the company name named entity. However, simply by clicking on the Entities drop-down box, I can choose any one of a number of name entity types that I may wish to investigate. If I was interested in credit cards, for example, well, let me switch to credit cards. And now this list will begin to populate by listing each individual credit card number that has been extracted. As you can see, the percentage is increasing along with the number of occurrences that the particular credit card number has within this data set. Let's let this list build for a second. Now, depending on the total number of particular named entities that are extracted, this will govern how long it actually takes to populate this window. If I knew a particular credit card number of interest, let me start by searching for 5707. As you can see in this particular case here, I have this particular 
credit card number involved in nine different items. Now from here I can investigate this particular credit card number by double clicking on the particular named entity itself which will spawn and launch another workbench with a listing of the nine files that that named entity was involved in. Here are the listed nine files. Another way to investigate the presence of named entities extracted within this data set is to come back and switch back to the results data set and leverage Nuix filters to look for particular files or file types that have named entities within them. Let me adjust my screen. Under the filtered items filter sets you can see here that we have a filter set for named entities. By expanding this out you can see each particular named entity set present within this particular data. If I wanted to look at the number files that had potential credit card information in it, I could select the credit card filter and Nuix would display me those data items that it believes has credit card numbers in them. As you can see here there are over a thousand items present within this data set. Now I could investigate this by sliding up and down my slider bar looking for particular evidence of interest or I could further refine my data set in the case of a fraud forgery type examination, I might want to think about investigating this and adding in a secondary filter. Knowing that a suspect may include credit card information within documents that he might keep on his computer, I can employ a secondary filter. Let's go up to the All Items filter set and select Documents. Now Nuix is not only looking for credit card information, but by adding the secondary filter of Documents, we're looking for credit card information within Documents. As you can see here, we have a document titled Credit Card Information DocX. Within the different tabs of the preview window is a tab entitled Entities. If you are focused or highlighted on a particular type of file that you believe contains named entities, you can always switch over to the Entities tab within the preview pane and Nuix will show you a listing of each individual entity. That is all, and thank you for your attention during this episode of Nuix Bytes.